My name's Greg, and I'm a cancer survivor. I, uh, I live in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm married with two kids. I really enjoy working out and running. I, I like to be outdoors. I spend a lot of time up in the mountains um, looking for shed antlers. Spend a lot of time on the golf course, sometimes a little bit too much time. I really just uh, found a, a little spot on my forehead. Didn't think too much of it. Was kind of monitoring it for a year and, and noticed that uh, obviously I'm, I'm bald. So uh, I started sh as I'm shaving my head, I, I just started nicking this one spot and thought I should really probably go get it checked out. And so I did and went in um, and had it removed. They sent it right to labs to get it tested and got a call about a week later uh, from my dermatologist uh, and she mentioned that it was uh, melanoma, um, which really shook me. I felt uh, scared and just anxious, uh, wanted to know more, but my dermatologist recommended right away that, sh that we send the, the biopsy to Castle to get the uh, to get it assessed, a genetic test, and it comes back and tells you uh, the severity, survival rates. I'd never heard of Castle before. Didn't know what it was. Um, really, just heard my doctor say, "Hey, it's this is a good thing to do. It will give us more information about." your case and, and your melanoma. The amount of weight that the doctors put into the results of this, uh, the, the test was really, really reassuring. It made me feel super confident in the results that it wasn't just another, you know, a test, but it was something that we could really, I could really use. About a week later, we got the results from that. I was a class 1A, so lowest class. Uh, my survival rates were 98 percent um, so just seeing those results was a huge relief for me so there was about a three month uh, time span between when i found out i had melanoma to when i had the uh, actual uh, procedure done pretty big time gap it was right in the middle of covid too so you know getting into the hospital was uh, was not easy um, and so having the results from Castle and being able to, you know, see that my case wasn't very severe and just calm my nerves, you know, over those three months as I was waiting to actually have the procedure done. Plan was to take a half dollar size circle out of my head. So I, I decided to have lymph nodes taken out behind my ear and uh, in my neck as well. The oncologist, she actually recommended I didn't move forward with the Sentinel lymph node. Um, just based off of my case, she's like, you're right on the border. Uh, Castle came back with you at six and a half percent. Like, I really don't think you need to do it. But I did meet with a uh, plastic surgeon and a few other doctors and my, uh, my dermatologist as well. And just talking with my family and, and what was, you know, obviously most important. And I had this information, they're already in there. I was like, I, I wanna move forward with it um, regardless, so just to be safe. Since then, every three months, I've been seeing my dermatologist and doing skin checks, and I've had a few things removed and they've all come back benign, uh, which, have, which has been great. I would uh, recommend that anyone ha that has melanoma or that uh, is researching melanoma to uh, ask your doctor about uh, the Castle test. Thank you.